Welcome back everybody to another Sunday booster cracking and another round of can we find a secret rare? We've got a brand new Force of Will set that's coming out in just a week. I'm super excited for it. I'll have a couple boxes coming in so stay tuned for that opening when it comes out. It's going to be a ton of fun and there are going to be some secret rare hunts in that one as well but for now we've got a new world emerges. I've got another box here and we weren't lucky on the last one, although we got a lot of really cool pulls, but this one I have high hopes for to find at least one more secret rare, hopefully justice. I'll take any though, let's be honest. So we're gonna jump into this thing, blaze through the stuff. You've seen all the cards already plenty, I'm sure, and I'm sure you guys at home have opened up plenty of new world emerges. So we're gonna crack on through, try to find a secret and have some fun. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy and make sure to subscribe. New world emerges. Such a good set, so glad the Secret Rares came back in this thing. It's been very exciting, very exciting indeed. Keep it up, Force of Will, keep on this trend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely be loving it. We've got our nice promo card here, little buy box promo. It's a good one, it's a good one. Fire Punisher of Solaris Order. I don't know where it's at, maybe it's still like four bucks, who knows? Uh, yeah, you know, prices didn't change a whole lot from the last box we opened, which was surprising. Some things dropped, but most things were still pretty good in price, so. Again, it'll be curious to see where things are at. We've got all our nice packs here, looking sweet, ready to go. Let's do this. First up, first pack. Let's get it. And we're just gonna, we're gonna kind of jump. We're gonna kind of jump through a little bit here. You know, we're not gonna worry too much about it. We're just gonna get to Fire Punish of the Solaris Order. There she is, bang, straight away. We've already got our little promo thing and we got Underground Fighting Arena Normal as our full art. Next up, let's go. We've got our very cool prototype. Love him, love him. Let's not skip too far here. We went straight to the rare. That's, that's, that's perfect. All right, we got Light Moon Fragment. Behind it, we got purging flames as our full art pretty cool i'm trying to remember i didn't look before i started recording of what j rulers i'm actually missing i don't think i have very many left actually to find which is pretty good i'm i'm fine with that i've got most of them fire moon fragment nice i love to see it and a good good card hero reincarnation for a super rare full art that's solid that's solid right there all right i grabbed the big stack from the middle row let's see how the middle row does for us this time not a great skip there on that one we got a bat oh there's our rare though we got charge of the fairy tale king looking great and we've got first regrets very nice very nice full art super not super just a rare just a rare but it's a cool card and I believe it has some value still. Should be a pretty good one. Here we go. Let's see the next pack. Bang. How far are we going to dig for our J Ruler? Last time it was saved all the way to the very end for both J Rulers. It was crazy. Arena owner, nothing too crazy with that one. But then we got Chrono Pawns as our full art normal. Oh, here we go. Let's see it. We got our perfect coordination. One of my favorite cards from the set, man. I just love the artwork on that one. It looks so nice. All right, we got First Regrets Rare. And then we got, all right, our first Marvel Rare Full Art Mimu Servant of Farshone, or however you want to say it. It's just a Mimu. It's probably the cheapest Marvel Rare, so nothing too crazy here. Are we good? My camera lagged. Hopefully that didn't mess up my recording in any way. Uh, hopefully we're still good. Uh, Mimi Rare. Yeah, that's what we got just in case it crashed on me. But Typhoon, Asteroid Cluster. And we got Bat of Solaris Full Art Normal. Secret Rare. Secret Rare. Give it to me. I want to see it. Let's go. I love getting these guys. We just need a God Pack. I Again, I'm not sure if they come. Oh, our first J Ruler, and it is a good one. I do have this one, Chrono Gear, but I'll take a double because it's one of the most expensive, 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 expensive ones in the set. Le, uh, what is his name? Levitin, Levitin, Chrono Gear, looking awesome in his Gundam-esque styling. We got Ainz, a great, probably one of the best, one of the basic rulers in the set to get big value on him. And we got Child of Water Moon, not bad, not bad for those. Again, show off the back of the cards because they look so nice. We'll show off the front side of Flight of the Demon Sword for our J Ruler. And Baba Bing, Bada Bang, look at him, man. Such a nice card. I think the foiling on my last one was a little bit better, though. This one looks really weak, really weak in comparison. Although I do remember him being a bit darker on the foiling. All right, we didn't wait till the end of the box to find our first J-Ruler, so that's cool. But we do have one more to find in here, possibly three, if we pull that legendary God Pack. Oh, boy, what do we got here? We got Revenant. 
good card to get in full art, very good. And then we got Solera, Religious Nation, full art, normal. Don't have this one in a full art, but I don't really care about the cities and towns. Next up, let's see it. All right, we got VIP stat, stat, seats, stats. Can't speak. Justice, Region, Engineer of Eternal. Satellite Crystal is our rare, and we got the King's Dragon in a full art. Classic looking old school card, love it. All right, you know, our middle row was pretty, pretty freaking good. So now I'm taking from the right side, a good chunk of the right side, and we'll see what we can get in here. No God Pack on this one, but we do have a Sprinting Steward as our rare with a nice looking satellite crystal full art beautiful card oh what was up with that one all right let's see it what are you guys most excited for with the new set coming out tell me in the comments below let me know what you're looking forward to in that we are getting dinosaurs back dinosaurs man that's classic right there super rare phantom of the water moon and we got phantasmal march hair don't have this one in a normal full art but uh it's all right, the artwork's kind of weak on it. They've done better rabbits before. I really wanna get that promo card. I do not have it yet, so. It's an expensive one. It's like a $60 promo card, it's ridiculous. So we got a Darkness Moon Fragment, very nice. And ooh, Lewolf Undefeated Warrior as our super rare dope looking full art. Oh, do I have this in a full art? I don't know if I do, can't remember. I might've pulled it in the first box. All right, let's get this one open and we'll do a little jump to a normal, but I think we're right on the cusp of the rare. I uh, had a couple more. All right, we got a uh, member of the 12 Sacred Knights as our super, and then we got Knight of the Phantom Moon as our normal full art. That's a cool looking card. Next up, let's go. We got the March Hare again, and we've got Light Magic Stone, normal, normal, normal. In a normal, in a super, we got the three wise men. This looks like it could have been a better card maybe. Uh, definitely not valued very highly. We got Pillar of Flame as a normal full art again. Right side is not looking to be super effective right now, but you know what? It's always the lucky left side that treats us right, right? Everybody over here knows it. Lucky left side, Dragon's King as that, and Justice <laughs> Hurricane as our rare full art. Decent, decent. I love the greens in this set. All right, this is the last one from the little stack on the right side. And then we're going straight left, you know? We're doing the left side thing. All right, we got Silence of Dark Knight, Super Rare Sacred Tree of Pramita of the Dead. Long name on that card. And Reign of Comets, Full Art. That's a sick card. I really do like that card. That is dope. Just a normal though, surprisingly, for such awesome epicness. It's just a normal. We got the left side stack now. Left side stack, don't let us down. Give us the God Pack and you will be cemented into amazing status for always coming through. All right, we got Light Punisher of Solaris Order, the little companion piece to Cecilia. We got Justice Barrier as a normal, which I don't have this one in the full art. That's a cool card. He's shooting out blue though. Isn't he a green guy? Colors don't seem to match super good on that one in my opinion, but we do have, let's jump. Oh, well, we're not jumping straight to the rare. We've got a normal and we've got a uh, Grisha, the heretic of Solari with a squirrel. Okay, squirrel of Solari, not great. Next one, let's dive in and see. We got a Mimi tribe on the front. Is it gonna be a good luck or bad luck? Usually bad, ooh, well, when you look, Judgment of Solari is a nice Marvel rare, especially in a full art. And we've got Confronting Eins as just a normal. Too much space going on in this card, like empty space. There's too much of it. It becomes very boring and plain. Could have been a more epic, dramatic scene, uh, but there's just a lot of empty stuff going on. That's my critique of my artist's eye for the day, all right? We got it, we got it once again. We'll take one more look at it, see how empty, how much of the empty space is. Not good use of space. Death Glare is our rare, and we've got Death Speaker Monk as our rare full art. Dope card, but I've critiqued this one before, so go back and watch my other videos if you want to know what my thoughts on that one. The videos are worth it, trust me. Ooh, this one was slicey, slicey. Uh-oh, what happened there? Was this like a bad... They like wrapped up the box difficultly or something. I don't know. Let's see what we got. We got Justice Punch, cool card. And we got Mikey's Enormous Task as our normal full art. But we have got to the end of our little stack from Lucky Left. There was no God Pack yet, but we still have more packs in the box. So we got our Light Moon Fragment. Every time I see these, it gives me hope because the first time I opened the box, I got a lot of these cards and it provided us with an awesome God pack. So we'll see. Phantom of the Water Moon is an amazing looking full art though. 
Love it in comparison to just the normal cropped version. It looks really sweet. All right, we're going from the right stack again. We're just gonna go through. We went all the way down to the bottom of the box now. We're reaching bottom status. We just ran through our Justice Missile Rare and we've got our Sacred Tree as a full art super rare. Not paying attention and skipping the good cards. Come on now. All right, we got Rain of Comets, normal. There's our rare Water Moon Fragment and Oh yeah, this guy's a cool card. I really like him. Firefighter, fi Fist Fighter, Firefighter, Fist Fighter of the Underground Fighting Arena. Oh yeah, cool card. Not worth a ton or anything. It is just a normal after all. So, you know, they hold value for a second after release. But then we got our Marvel Rare of Mimu again. Not ideal, not ideal. But we got Zombie returning from the long name of the dead, whatever. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. All right, are we gonna find the J Ruler on the right side or the middle stack? We got our Death Speaker Monk again, and we got uh, Barros, Alpha's Watchdog. Pretty cool card, nice looking rare. Uh, no value? I don't think this one has value. Who? Ooh, no God Pack on the right side. That will be designated for our lucky left. I'm giving it an extra shot. Ooh, what do we got here? We got, it looks like a nice looking card. Alpha's Watchdog Rare, and we've got, oh yeah, Light Punisher of the Solaris Order as our full art. Man, oh man, I love these cards. They look so nice. Dang, that full art just really, really is good. What a good card. All right, we got our middle stack here. We've only got a few more left in the box. We got a few more on the left side, but for now, we're gonna open up the middle and see what happens. Let's go normal. We got normal. We got Super Rare, Leia Wolf, the Undefeated Warrior once again, and Emergency Takeoff Normal Full Art. Let's see this one. Man, we just flew through this box. This is gonna be a short one, that's crazy. Hopefully the recording didn't get messed up. Still worried about that. Justice Hurricane, decent card to get, and a Death Glare Full Art. Nice, nice, nice. This one has a little bit of value, unless it's dropped. Uh, but from what I remember, this one was a decent one to get in a Full Art. Really good, really good card. All right, where is that last J Ruler hiding? That's what I'm wondering. No God Pack here. We got the Satellite. We've got the Wind Moon Fragment. And we've got the Three Wise Men as a full art. Nothing to see here, really. It's a cool card, though. I do like the design of these robots. Last one from the middle stack. And then we are straight on to the left side. So let's see what we got in this one. Will we get a J Ruler? In this one, we do, we get Berserker. Let's go, decent card. He's not the highest valued one, but he is good. And I have grown to uh, like the artwork on this card. It wasn't, I wasn't sold on it entirely at the beginning, but it, it grew on me, it grew on me. All right, so we got Viga, the Steadfast Steward, and then we've got Child of the Wind Moon as our other basic rulers. We'll flip over the J Ruler, show off the first side here. We got Extract of the Fire Moon, and then we transform into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Dude over here, looking straight out of the movies. Berserker, bang, nice J Ruler. Uh, we got some, we got good J Ruler hits in the box, and you know what? We're not done. We're gonna go to the lucky left side and we're gonna find a God Pack. In these last four packs, let's do it. Let's see what we can get. All right, let's go, come on. We're gonna have to like pull a secret pack. Non oh, past it. Sprinting Steward, I don't know what I'm saying. Justice Missile Pod, normal full art. All right, and all right, we gotta like open these backwards. No, I can't open them backwards. It'll spoil it for me, even still. All right, we got Hero Recarnation, very nice, very nice. And Lore of Tukasome, very nice, normal, full art, nice looking artwork. Two packs left, let's get into it. We're gonna start with this one and we're gonna see. Okay, nothing, no, no God Pack here, no God Pack here, but we are gonna go straight to the rare, which is the Darkness Moon Fragment with a Fire Moon Fragment full art. Nice, nice, these have uh, like eight bucks value or something, uh, maybe five now, but we'll see. Good card though. And the last pack, can we get a God Pack? It does feel kind of heavy, just gotta say. So we'll we'll find out in just a second here. But again, if you like the video, if you've enjoyed so far, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Tell me about the next set and what you're excited about and subscribe for more of the openings. Last pack, it does feel heavy, not gonna lie. I don't know if that means anything. I'm not gonna look, I'm just gonna look this way for a second. You guys tell me what you see. Okay, all right, well. No God Pack in this box. The hunt will continue. We've got the King's Dragon. 
and we've got outer space just a normal full art beautiful looking space card to finish out the box but hey these two j rulers not bad not bad pretty freaking good cards obviously this one's more expensive and we've got our most expensive basic ruler which would be the eins category over here looking sweet don't mind getting the dupes of him that is pretty nice thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video if you did make sure to keep an eye out for more booster crackings and the new set that drops next week we will be having an opening of that as well stay tuned have a great rest of your week coming up and we will see you guys in the next video